Hello all, welcome back to Learning Partner. If you are new, please do subscribe. This is another channel where you can directly connect with me. We have around 1000 plus members already who are working. We take live coding sessions and everything so to just get notified about those sessions. Please do join this group and check out this website also where you can find so many project ideas with live version, proper flow, diagram and APIs and documentation and all. So let's start with the video. So in this video, we are going to see how we can implement routing. As we know, React is a single page application. So obviously like how we are using till now, like why if we create a component, we are rendering that by using its component name like this, correct? But this is not going to work. What if we have so many components and we want to have a navigation based on navigation click, we should render it. So how we are going to do that? So to do that, we have to implement the routing. Now in React, React only has provided one library that will help us to implement the routing. Fine. But that, li but that library is not provided when you create a new project. So you need to explicitly install that library. Fine. So this is that library. So react-router-dom. So you need to install this library. So let's open a new terminal on a root folder. So let's run this command. So this will install this library into your React project. Fine. Let it complete. So you can see added three packages. So once you add it, your package.json will also get updated. Fine. Now, once you install the React uh, React li uh, library uh, routing library, the next step in your app component, that is your parent component. So in our app component, first thing you need to add is browser router. So hyphen browser, sorry. So if you have this library installed, you will get this suggestion. So browser router like this. Fine. Now whole your, whole your React application will render inside this browser router tag. Inside this, first we have to add the navigation. So once you install, once you add this, then you need to get the nav, nav, nav bar, either a bootstrap or any framework or just a simple navbar anchor tab will also be enough. But let's, we already have the bootstrap installed. So let's use the bootstrap navbar. Let's go to navbar. Let's get the black one. Try it yourself. So this is the black one. I'm just copy pasting this. Now this navbar will go over here. But in React, as we know, like we we have copy pasted it. It contains class, but we have to replace that class with class name. So let's replace that with class name. Fine. Now, so after browser router, we have added navbar. After navbar, we have to create routes. So R O U T E S. Okay. Routes. Inside routes, we have to create route. Then in route, we have path is equal to, then what, what number of components we have? Like that, we have to create the routes as well. So we have, currently we have created this many of components. So let's create a data binding route first. So in routes, path will be your URL. URL. So data hyphen binding. Fine. Now, if in the URL, if we have data binding, which component we have to render? So we have to specify element equal to curly bracket, angle bracket, the data binding one. Let's close this also like this. So like this, you will keep on creating multiple routes. So data binding, then event binding. I'm just creating some routes for now. Event binding, event binding. Then use state also we can create. and use state with object or conditional render. Now, path is nothing but what you have in control. Whatever the name you feel, you can give it. Use state. And this is conditional rendering or, yeah, let's give it as the same name. Fine. So these are the various routes I created. Then, 
my application is already running. So let's try to access it. Let's. Some error is there. Cannot resolve dynamic class name. In app.js, it is showing error for this. Let's see what is this error. Let's remove. Okay, so here you can see we have got the navbar, but currently it is not displaying anything. Now here comes the role of default route. So if in the URL we don't have any route, like uh, something like this, means if we don't have any route, which component we have to render by default? So that is default route. So same like this router will be there, route will be there, just in path it will be single hyphen. Oh, sorry, again I missed it. Here also we have to add hyphen, 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 hyphen. Fine. So this is my default route. Now by default, I'm rendering data binding page. So let's save and check. So now you can see data binding is coming. Now, if I try to navigate with this route, so in the URL, I have to add slash and this. So now you can see we have redirected to the use state page. But we just need to do this on click of this nav bar. Correct. So whatever the nav links we have that we need to replace. So this is the anchor tag. In normal HTML, we use this to, uh, what do we say, redirect. Correct. But now in case of React, instead of this anchor lag, what we have to use is link tag. Capital L. Okay. Then over here, class name will be same as it is. So class name, we can use it and we can provide it over here. Now, in normal HTML to redirect, we use href. In React, we have to use two is equal to slash. Sorry, we don't have to use this directly double quotes slash. Now, let's say first is data binding. So this is your route name. This will go in two section. And here, data binding, your text. Like this, we have to create multiple routes. So let's copy this. Let's change it. Data binding, then we have event binding. Let's copy paste. Event binding, then we have use states. Then last one, we have conditional render. Let's copy. This is the route name. So this path will go over here. And here, whatever the text, let's say hide and show. So if I save, let's try. So by default, we are in the, let's remove the URL. So by default, we will land to the data binding. Now, if I click on event binding, so see, I'm able to navigate. URL is also changing and respective component is also getting rendered. So this is how routing works. This is very basic implementation. Fine. So now if you are following my videos from the first episode, so we used to import uh, the particular class and we used to render that. Now you can change that and whatever the topics we are seeing, right? So you can just uh, create a route and add a navigation link over here. Like that you can follow. Now I will continue in Hindi. Now, single page application, right? React.js kya hai single page application. But obviously, jab hum actual project pe kaam karenge, to hume multiple page based navigation jaisa look and feel to chahiye. Matlab navigation hoga, navigation ki kick pe, ek page se hum dusre page pe ja rahe. Aisa look and feel to chahiye. So, wo look and feel agar hume implement karna hai, to hume routing implement karna padta hai. So, routing ke liye, React ki khud ki ek library hai, that is React hyphen router hyphen dom. So, ye library install karo project mein. This is the command npm install React hyphen Router happen down. Joby latest uh, uh, version hoga, wo install hoga. Current 18, yeah, 18 something hai. Okay. So, wo matlab re, React Router Dom ka 6. Point something version hai. React, okay. Apna React ka version 18 hai. Thik hai. So, ye library install koro. Library install hone ke baad, apko sabse pehle app component mein, jo hamara parent component hai, wape browser router likhna hai. Browser router opening or closing. Thik hai. देखो यहां पे क्लोजिंग है उसके बाद आपको नेव बार डालना है सबसे पहले नेव बार में आप अगर आप कॉपी पेस्ट करते हो तो यहां पे क्लास का क्लास नेम कर दो उसके बाद आपको राउट्स का ऑब्जेक्ट क्रिएट करना है राउट्स इज नथिंग बट कलेक्शन ऑफ मल्टीपल राउट्स सो राउट्स का टैग क्रिएट करना है उसके अंदर एक 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 राउट क्रिएट करते जाना है ये पाथ मतलब आपके यूआरएल का नाम जो भी आपको यूआरएल देना है उसके बाद अगर ये यूआरएल में है तो कौन सा कंपोनेंट ऊपर करना है तो ये ठीक है 
ये हमारा डिफॉल्ट राउट है उसके बाद नेविगेशन में जहाँ पे अपना एंकर टैग होता है वहाँ पे लिंक टैग यूज करो और लिंक टैग में टू की जगह टू को क्या वैल्यू भेजोगे जो आपका पात का नाम है वो दैट्स इट ये सिंपल स्टेप्स कर लो आपका राउटिंग इम्प्लीमेंट हो जाएगा ठीक है सो इफ यू आर न्यू प्लीज डू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब थैंक यू ऑल